Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's session is called Root to Rise Yoga. We'll be practicing grounding everything from the belly button down and finding expansion from the belly button up as we move through some yoga postures. Um, so someone is coming in wanting to be a part of this class. She loves yoga too. I'll just let her be here for a little bit while we get into the start of class. So this is Lilu, this is my Roddy Mix. He's a good girl. So as we move through this class sequence, just think about the bottom half of your body being filled with lead, while the upper half is like light rays shining in every direction. So we'll start off in this seated position, just finding a seat that's comfortable for you. And as you find this seat, Notice how it feels to sit with your hips down onto the mat. So one thing that you can do to root down even more is to lean over to your left, take your right hand to pull the flesh back from the right glute, and then lean over to your right, take the left hand to pull the flesh back from the left glute. Notice if that gives you a little bit of a difference in how you feel in your seat. Now with the hips, Lilu, come on. Go to your couch, go to your couch. With your hips grounded down, think about positioning your shoulders above your hips and your ears above your shoulders. Reach the crown of your head straight up towards the sky. So you're finding that axial extension in your spine. And as you do this, just close your eyes, bring your gaze inward and focus on your breath. It's always a great way to start your class by coming into your breath work and simply noticing your natural breath, how you breathe without force or control. And then when you're ready, you can expand that breath, taking a deep inhalation through the nostrils. And on the exhale, slowly releasing the breath. Continue to breathe in that way. Deep inhale through the nostrils. Exhale, slow, slow release. Inhale deeply. Exhale, maybe take a sigh of relief, letting go. Just noticing the expansion of the breath. And as you move through your breath, continue to feel the hips grounded down, rooting down into the mat. Crown of the head rising up. Imagining beams of sunshine radiating all around you. As you practice this breath, Notice if there's an intention that you have for this practice. If there's anything in particular that you'd like to focus on, just take a moment to bring that energy into your practice. And take a couple more rounds of breath, rooting down, rising up. Maybe even hearing the sound of each breath. When you're ready, you can gently flutter the eyes open, come back into your space. Hopefully in your space, you have a little more room than I do. So we're gonna start to incorporate postures and movements that allow us to root down and rise up. So remember, we're focusing on rooting down from the belly button down and rising up with expansion from the belly button up. So starting off our postures in a comfortable seated position, as you inhale, sweep the arms up, fingertips towards the sky. Now, as you exhale, take your hands to one direction, lower the fingertips, spinal twisting. Inhale, arms rise up. 
exhale, lower the hands opposite direction. Working with your space, each time you inhale, arms rise up, and each time you exhale, take the arms, take the fingers opposite direction. Notice how your back feels as you move in this way. And finishing off both sides and then finding your way down to center. Now, as you come to center, bring your palms together, reach them forward, straighten the arms, interlace your fingers. As you inhale, lift the arms up, ears between biceps. And as you exhale, release the hands, bring them behind your body. Reconnect, inhale, open the heart, shoulders back. Exhale, release, take it forward again. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, release, take the hands behind, interlace, lift the hands, open the chest, and then take one more. Now, as we take this last round, notice how this feels for your shoulders, your chest, and your back. And then release, just shake it out. And from here, let's give a little of attention to our wrist. This is a part of the body that we use a lot. We don't really give a lot of attention to. So we want some wrist mobility. Hands are gonna come together. Now, when your hands come together, bring your fingers towards you and then send the fingers forward. Let the back of the hands meet, bring the thumbs together, continue to move the hands around. So notice that the connection of the hands changes with the movement but the hands stay connected at one point or another. Now, once you get the hang of going this way, flip it up, reverse it, opposite direction. Just giving some love to our wrist. When the back of the hands meet, you can even lower the elbows down, getting a nice stretch at the top of the hands, going into the wrist. And then release, maybe shake that out. Bring your hands down by your sides. As you inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, take your shoulders back and down. A couple more rounds. The next one, the shoulders come up, back, and down. All right, now we are gonna need a little more space. We're gonna stay grounded in our seat, but we're gonna use more space of the mat. So I'm just gonna scoot her over to her own little bed. Come on, come on. Stay. And then from here, as we come onto the mat and open the legs up, now we're using more of the space. Still grounded in our seat, but we've got the legs extended. Now, when we are opening up the legs, we wanna make sure that the calf muscles and the hamstrings are still rooted down, there is a little natural space underneath the knees. But if you notice that your knees are really popping up and there's a lot of space under your legs, then you might shorten the distance between your feet. So from the belly button down, we're rooting down. And then from the belly button up, we're rising up. This time, inhale, lift the fingers straight up. As you exhale, take the arms over to one side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, opposite direction. Each time you inhale, find center. Each time you exhale, opposite direction. Now, as you take this movement, you might feel into your side body. You might feel more into one side of the body if you're tighter there. You might feel this in your obliques tomorrow. And just notice how far you can stretch, finding that place of sensation, but not to the point of pain or major discomfort. We'll take one more on each side. Find center and then let the hands come down. From here, bringing the feet together. So the soles of the feet are going to meet. We're making this diamond shape with our legs. And as we stay grounded on the bottom half of the body, the hands find the feet Inhale, lift the crown of the head up. Exhale, lean forward. Just taking the movement with our upper body, but as we lean forward, we can feel sensation at the inner thighs. 
And as you lean forward, think about bringing your belly button towards your feet rather than your head. This is gonna be better for your spine. And if you feel any discomfort in your knees, then you can widen the angle by sending the feet further away from you. So take the positioning that feels really good in your body. On your next inhale, crown of the head rises up. Remember, the lower part of our body feels heavy like lead. Upper part of the body feels like expansion, rays of sunshine all around us, using the space around us. So now, switching it up a little bit, with our legs, we're gonna keep one down, the hips are gonna stay down, one leg is gonna come up. This is gonna help us get deeper into our hips. So starting off with one leg, Go ahead and lift the leg. Take the pinky edge of the foot to the opposite side elbow and then wrap your arm around the thigh so the hands meet. Now you might already feel uh, tightness in the hip. We're just moving from side to side, little micro movements. So this is called rocking the baby. You can kiss the baby if you'd like. Uh, with this pose, feeling yourself rooted down in your seat. If you notice that you're slumping, reach the crown of your head up. Now, from here, we're going to take opposite hand to the pinky side of the foot. So if you're right, if you're working with your right leg, it's going to be your left hand. Opposite hand comes behind the hip like a kickstand. And then try to straighten your leg. As you straighten your leg, you can lift your back hand and then look back to your thumb. This is a nice stretch going up the leg into the hip. Remember, rising up through the crown. And then as you bring your back hand forward, bend your knee so that you can take the hand to the arch side of the foot. Release the opposite hand. Extend the leg. So now same side arm to same side leg. Look back. Maybe give yourself a thumbs up with your opposite arm. Notice if you feel a stretch at the shoulder. And then bend your knee. Take both hands to your feet. Now from here, Press your leg forward, see if you can straighten, and then bend the knee. And we'll take a couple more of these. Press the foot, straighten, and bend the knee. One more time. And then we're gonna set this foot down. Coming into the other side, picking up the foot, bringing it to the opposite elbow, inner elbow. Arm comes around, hands meet. We start off by just rocking the baby, just letting that hip know that we're gonna be working with this area a little bit. Allowing ourselves to release some tension and congestion. Notice the slumping, crown of the head rises up. And then we'll start to find extension in this leg. So taking opposite hand to the pinky side of the foot, extend, reach your arm back, look back, feel into this leg. Notice where you're feeling tightness. Soften the knee, bend, bring the hand forward. Take it to the arch side. Release the hand that was on the foot. Reach it back, extend your leg, look back. You might even close your eyes, feeling the balance and noticing where you're feeling the most sensation. Back hand comes forward, knee bends. Now both hands come to the foot, press the foot forward, straighten, bend the knee, bring it towards the body. Two more times. And then the knee comes in. We'll take both feet forward, bring your hands behind your body, supporting yourself, imagining your hands like kickstands and just rock the, feet, the knees from side to side. Just release any tension there. And bring the knees to center. Now we're gonna practice a seated balance. So still rooting down in our seat, still rising up through the crown of the head. 
you might want to have bare feet as a connection point. So you can take your peace fingers, your index and middle finger to hook onto your right big toe, and then take the peace fingers of your left hand to hook onto your left big toe. Bring the heels towards the glutes, and then just practice lifting your heels. So you're already in the balance, regardless of how much you lift the heels. You can practice lifting the ankles in line with the knees, feeling yourself rooted down. Our seat is our foundation. Now reach the crown of the head up, open your heart, send it forward. You can challenge yourself more by extending both legs. And remember, if you start to collapse in your upper body, open your heart, shine it forward, reach the crown of your head up. Imagine your upper body like sunbeams shining out, sending your love and energy to everyone you encounter. Still feeling really heavy in that lower body, especially the seat, keeping us anchored down. And then the knees bend, gently guide the heels down to the mat. From here, releasing the feet, taking the hands behind your back. Lift your right foot, bring the ankle to the left thigh just above the knee. Getting deeper into the hip now, slide your left heel towards your body, just to the point where you can feel a sensation at that right hip. Now you can practice walking your hands more towards your glutes, sending your heart towards your legs to deepen the stretch. If at any point the stretch is too intense, you can shimmy your grounded foot further away from the body, or you can slide it closer if you start to open up and want to uh, get deeper into that stretch. So just taking a few rounds of breath here, grounding down in our seat, rising up through the crown of the head. There's so much that we can do from a seated foundation in our practice. Just moving in a way that's smart for our bodies, our alignment, feeling ourselves really stable, anchored down. Now to come out of this pose, we'll just shimmy the grounded foot away from the body, opening the angle at the knee so that we can lift the foot, take it down to the mat. And then coming into the other side. So now lifting that left foot, bringing the ankle to the thigh, and then deciding how much you wanna slide that right heel towards the body. Remember, you can press your chest towards your legs. And it's totally okay if this side is different. Our bodies are very asymmetrical. We don't use the side way, right? So it's okay to have more tightness on one side. Just notice where your body is. Meet it there. Couple more rounds of breath. Go a little deeper if that's available. And on the next exhale, we'll release and come out, shimmying that right foot away, lifting the left foot, bringing it down, taking a couple rounds of breath here, and maybe just rocking those knees from side to side again. So we're gonna take ourselves from seated to standing. And even though we're standing and not having our seat connected to the mat anymore, we still are gonna practice the concept of having the bottom half of our body heavy and the upper part of our body being very light. So go ahead and come onto your feet however you'd like. Come into a standing position. And as you come into the standing position, bring your feet together. Now, as you bring your feet together, let the big toes touch, create just a little space between the heels. Give yourself a moment to ground down in the feet. Maybe you spread the toes and rock forward towards the toes and then back towards the heels. Just noticing how this standing foundation feels and really letting yourself get settled into your bones. Now, as we're standing, remember from your belly button down, heavy, heavy, heavy. From the belly button up, expansion, lightness, rays of sunshine. As you inhale, sweep the arms up, palms meet. And as you exhale, take your arms to one side, send the hips to the opposite side. 
Focusing on just moving with the upper body. If you need a little more heaviness, you can drop the bottom arm down, reach through the top fingertips. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, take the arms opposite direction. Heel into the side body. You can lower that bottom arm, reaching through the top fingertips, noticing if that changes the experience for you. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, bring the hands down the midline. Taking the thumbs to the heart center, connecting here for a full round of breath. Inhale, deeply feel the chest expand. Exhale, let it go. Now we're going to separate the feet to hip distance. So when I say hip distance, just open the feet enough to where there's enough space for one more foot of yours to fit. So not to the outer hips, but in line with the uh, bony bits of the hip points in the front. Now, once you bring your feet to hip distance, walk your feet towards the top of the mat. Give yourself space behind. Starting off, you can take your hands to your hips and then step your right toes back so that you land on the toes and the heel is lifted. So we're setting up for crescent lunge. We're going to take a variation of it. We want that left knee bent with the knee tracking above the ankle. Right leg is straight and behind. Now the arms rise up. We're rooted down through the hips, the legs, and the feet, but we're reaching up through the fingertips, rooting down, rising up. Now we can take movement if we would like to. So you can bend your right knee, bring it towards the mat, and then you can straighten the leg. Notice how that feels for the psoas, the hip flexor, releasing tension from being in a seated position. And then, Take the hands down after you've taken three rounds. From here, you're going to use your energy to step your right foot forward. Pause here. Give yourself a round of breath. Hands can come back to the hips. Now, step those left toes way back towards the back of the mat. Find a distance that feels stable for you. Remember, you're on the right toes. The heel is lifted. The right knee is bent, tracking above the ankle. Now the arms rise up, crescent lunge. Option to stay here in stillness or option to take those knee bends. Heavy in the lower part of the body, rising up, reaching through the fingertips. And then the hands come down. Use your energy to step forward. Pause and take a full round of breath here. Exhale, open your mouth, let it go. Now we're going to do that again, stepping back. This time, we're gonna lower that back knee. So we're coming into a knee down lunge. Now, as you come into this knee down lunge, press your hips forward. As you press your hips forward, if your knee is coming past your toes, you can shimmy your foot forward. Now, the back toes can be curled or not. This is up to you. This is a personal preference. Continuing to root down through the lower body, rising up through the fingertips. Now this time we can take a variation and twist to the left, left foot forward. Inhale, arms come back to center. Exhale, twist to the left again. One more time. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, take the hands down. Now slide that left foot back left knee is in line with the right, plant the hands, curl the toes, lift the hips, press back, this is down dog, and then just make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, take a half lift, and then exhale, fold, an opportunity to stretch the back of the body. Inhale, rise up, bring the thumbs down the midline, and then connect the hands back down to the hips. So now we're gonna step those left toes back and then take our time to lower the knee down. Press the hips forward, 
we set ourselves up so that we've got the knee above the ankle and then we can uncurl the back toes or not personal preference heavy from the belly button down and then fingertips rise up expanding through the upper body pressing the hips forward inhale breath now as you exhale open your arms twist to the right inhale bring it back to center exhale twist again inhale bring it to center exhale twist back to center now bring the fingertips down slide the right foot back now the knees are in line with each other walk the hands towards the body now stack the hips above the knees curl the toes take your hands to your glutes as if you're putting your hands in your jeans pockets now bring your elbows towards each other open your heart press your hips forward gaze up and then release come out from here you can uncurl the toes press the tops of the feet to the mat this might feel a little more stable, a little more grounded for you. And then we'll try again. So this time your hands can be as if you're going to place them into your jeans pockets, or you can take reverse namaskar, bringing your palms together, reverse prayer position. Just check and see if that's okay for your shoulders. If not, you can take the first option. Now press the hips forward, open the heart. Imagine there's a string attached to your heart that's being pulled up to the sky. And then exhale, let it go. Bring the hips down to the heels. Feeling more grounded in the lower body now. And because we did some back bending, we're just going to take a little counter stretch in child's pose. So in this variation, bring the knees together, bring the feet together. Inhale, reach the crown of the head up. Exhale, lean forward. Arms by your sides to release your shoulders, forehead to the mat. Now, if your forehead doesn't reach the mat, that's okay. You can position a block, pillow, or blanket underneath. Feel the tension releasing from your low back. The whole body is grounded down now. Bringing our attention inward. Checking in on ourselves. On our intention. Noticing how we feel physically mentally and emotionally today. On the next inhale, lift the crown of the head up, straight spine, axial extension. Remember, reaching the crown of the head up and then lifting the hips, coming back onto the hips. Now, this time, maybe rotating to use the length of the mat, Gonna bring your knees to hip distance. Remember, find the bony bits at the front of the hips, bring the knees in alignment with that. And then you're gonna lift one side at a time. So as you lift one knee, extend that foot. Look to make sure that the foot is in line with the knee. You might wanna block underneath your hand if your hand doesn't reach the mat. So take a block if you need to. Now, as you notice your extended leg foot in line with your grounded knee, this is where you're going to bring your hand down in line with your knee. Opposite arm reaches up. So fingertips are palm down. Now you can leave your extended foot down if you need anchoring, if you need grounding. You're reaching up through the fingertips. You might take your arm overhead, long line of energy from the foot to the hand. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up, use your energy. Now move in the opposite direction. So reaching opposite fingers up and taking the other hand down. Reach, reach, reach. Maybe you gaze up as if you're trying to reach the sky. And on your next inhale, bring the arms to center. Take the hands down. Now we're going to do that on the other side. 
So bring this leg in, reposition the knees under the hips, and then set it up on the other side. Opposite leg extends, checking to see that that foot is in line with the knee. Taking the same side hand to the grounded knee, fingertips or palm down to the mat. Inhale, reach your other arm up. Notice how this feels. Press the sole of your extended leg foot into the mat. And then remember you have the option to take your arm overhead if you'd like. Reach, reach, reach. Heavy in the legs, in the low body, reaching through that top arm. On your next inhale, arms rise up, finding expansion, move in the opposite direction. Now, opposite hand reaches straight up. Maybe you gaze up, reach, 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 find length in the upper body. And feel the lower body supporting you as a foundation. Inhale, arms to center. Exhale, take the arms down. Slide the extended leg foot down. Bring the knees under the hips and then take a seat. So maybe you're sitting like we were when we first came into the practice or maybe you choose to sit on a block instead but just letting that lower body be totally grounded without movement. Upper body, crown of the head is reaching up. Hands are on your thighs. Close your eyes and come back to your breath. Inhale completely through the nostrils. Exhale, release and let go. And again. Exhale, sigh of relief. Continue to practice this full lung capacity breathing. Noticing how your body feels now as we come to a close of our practice. I recommend this sequence anytime that you're feeling a little unsure or up in the air, taking postures that physically ground you to help you feel more secure and stable, but at the same time, allowing yourself movement and expansion with the upper body. This is especially beneficial if you are sitting in a chair most of your day, or if you find yourself uh, slumped forward in your posture. So this is a really nice practice to find that length while continuing to root down and remain grounded. Next exhale, open your mouth, sigh of relief. Start to flutter the eyes open, coming back into the space. Now it's your choice how you want to finish off this practice. If you'd like, you can take Shavasana, our relaxation pose. If you would like to take that pose, I recommend taking that for about seven to 10 minutes following our practice today. If you rather opt out of Shavasana, that is your choice, totally up to you. I hope you enjoyed the experience of rooting down and rising up through our yoga practice today. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you. The light in me honors the light within you. Namaste.